So where are we? Describe this warehouse in West London. It's a guy who's just collected everything, everything medical from Victorian times through to now, and then just kind of thrown it all in with no rhyme or reason. And how did you find out about this place? When we looked for stuff for albums and stuff, I came over here and kind of fell in love. <laughs> I think it's amazing. And I've been back and I just come back and find the little bits that we need for our records and take them out. And now we're shooting here, we're doing a bit of a video here. So what is the premise for the video then? Um, we shot in Iceland because I'd never been there and we've got these beautiful shots of frozen lakes and Iceland and Northern Lights and I just wanted to cut to really stark medical, like the sort of chromium and glass of modern medicine and um, that's what we're doing. These things still because they're so... Have you done those? No, I haven't, I haven't. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever had these? They work. What, that one actually works? Yeah, it's not plugged in, but... It's... You can see why Damien Hurst obviously kind of decided to use this kind of imagery, because it's, it's very satisfying to look at, the little jars. It's, it's impossibly beautiful. And also, once you take these things, like we've got little Ventolin things on our album, and you, once you take them out of the, that context, they become like really beautiful machines. They become more than just this little purpose that they have. And basically it's saving lives, isn't it? Or trying. I don't know how much this did. <laughs> but what's also amazing about this place is it's kind of like somebody's just opened the roof and thrown it in. You know, there's no kind of, it's a mess. You are looking at this earlier, is this one of your favorite pieces? <laughs> no. Make I it sound like an exhibition. Somebody's been having a good time with this piece. This is the bit down here that I find particularly, actually quite genuinely disconcerting. Not so much because what it looks like, but because how it smells. Have you been down to this bit yet? Because you kind of think that, that sort of skulls and bones and that is kind of like a bit, almost a bit of a visual cliche until you see them in such a many and varied form as this. It's just weird. Aren't they beautiful? And it smells quite strange as well. I don't think it's those that are smelling. <laughs> see, I like the little drip bags as well, and, but it's more the quantity. You know, we were saying before, when you hang that much, much of the same object, it's like you were saying about Damien Hirst, it's about once you put more, and more than one of the same object together, they start to have this kind of beauty that, that you don't necessarily see in one object. So we're here for a while. Thank you. Thank you.